What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Donaldson's Kitchen. So you want to know how to make some amazing homemade baked salmon? Well today I'm going to show you every step of the way how to make it, how I make it. So come on in, let's go guys. Did somebody say salmon? Man, I love salmon guys. I know a lot of people are not fans of seafood, but I'm a big seafood lover because I'm from the islands. I was born in Haiti, so I just love seafood. I was raised around seafood. I have no choice but to love seafood. But salmon, guys, I love salmon. It's so quick, it's so easy to make, it's so delicious, and it's healthy for you. So I'm gonna show you how I make salmon my way. So let's go. Now for this recipe, guys, you will need salmon, pepper, salt, badia complete sasong seasoning, and lemon. All right guys, I've already rinsed out my meat, but you always wanna make sure to rinse out or clean out your meat, whatever you're making from fish, poultry, anything meat, you always wanna clean it out before you cook it. So let's move on to the next part. I like to cut my salmon like this into pieces. Here we go. Just like that guys, you wanna have them like this. Now first thing first, you wanna take some olive oil and you wanna pour it on top of it like this. And this one. And we're gonna use a brush and spread it out evenly into the salmon. Just like that, guys. Now, guys, we're gonna season our salmon with salt and pepper. And like I said before, the best way to season meat is to get it all covered like this. Just cover the whole salmon with salt. Just watch closely. And we're gonna do the same thing with the pepper. Just like this all over the salmon. Let's get every part of it covered. Last but not least, we're gonna use one of my favorite, actually my favorite seasoning I put in everything. It's Bajia Sasong Complete Seasoning, guys. And we're gonna repeat the same thing, like I said, just cover the whole salmon, just like this. Just like that, guys, just cover the whole salmon. I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer. Just like this, guys. Just look at this. After seasoning my salmon, guys, I'm gonna move it over to my handy dandy non-stick pan. If you don't have a non-stick pan, you're more than welcome to use um, pan spray. That always works, guys. Now, we're gonna set the oven to 400. Um, bake it at 400, guys. Start. So the oven is ready on 400. I got my salmon in there and we're gonna set the timer for it. Um, here we go. I'm gonna set it for 15 minutes, guys. You wanna cook it for at least 15 to like 20 minutes, but I'm gonna cook it for 15 minutes. And about halfway through, we're gonna cut up some lemons and we're gonna take them out. We're gonna take the salmon out and we're gonna put some lemon wedges on there. So you want to cut the lemon like this. Just like that, guys. And then you want to split them in half. Just like that. That's all you need. So I took the salmon out, guys. It's been halfway through. It's been seven minutes. And now I'm going to put some butter on it and some lemon wedges. So I got my butter on there and my lemon wedges. Now we're going to put it back in the oven so it can finish. This thing smells phenomenal, guys. If only you were here to smell it. Looks phenomenal. Looks delicious. That's how you make salmon, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get a drum roll, please? Here we go, guys. Salmon oven bait made by yours truly, Chef Donna Sien with mashed potatoes on the side. 
Oh my God, just look at this, let me bring y'all closer. This salmon is just phenomenal. Oh my God. Now you know I can't finish this video without trying this masterpiece right here. It's an amazing piece of salmon. This one's for you guys, Hakuna Matata. Oh my God. I think I need to stop going to restaurants. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support. For everybody that have been watching every step of the way. Make sure to hit the likes, subscribe, share with your friends. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, au revoir. Yeah. Hold up right there. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Now, if you want to know how to make those exact same mashed potatoes, click on the link below and I'll show you every step of the way how to make those creamy restaurant mashed potatoes. Click on the link below, guys. And don't forget to smash the like button. Until next time. Shoot, I'm recording. <laughs>